Israel and Hezbollah trading the most intense firefight in months. The cross-border attacks happening at the same time ceasefire talks are underway in Egypt, aiming to pause fighting in Gaza and the return of hostages. Fox 5's Stephanie Bertini joins us live in the studio right now. And the main question tonight being, does this move the conflict towards an all-out war? Steph. Yeah, you know, Arthur, this definitely marks an escalation in the back and forth between Hezbollah, which has been in support of Hamas, and Israel. As the Israel-Hamas war rages in Gaza, all of this does bring in great concern about the possibility of a wider conflict. Israel and the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah traded heavy fire. The IDF called the strike preemptive, claiming it destroyed thousands of rocket launchers in Lebanon. I believe that the, the success of our uh, operation yesterday prevented an escalation to a major war. The threat is still there. Hezbollah says it carried out a barrage of rocket and drone attacks in retaliation for the killing of a top military commander last month. There has been a constant uh, tit for tat type exchange between between Hezbollah and Israel, uh, with Hezbollah uh, launching attacks on Israel in support of Hamas. Hezbollah has been clear in its support for Hamas during the Israel-Hamas war. As the war rages in Gaza, both sides claim they only aimed at military targets in this Sunday exchange of force. The Israeli Prime Minister saying the country would take all measures to protect itself. Whoever hurts us, we hurt him. The cross-border clash was one of the most intense exchanges in months. It's being reported that the leader of Hezbollah says the group is going to assess whether further attacks need to be carried out after the group initially said the attack was complete. Internationally, there is ongoing concern about a wider conflict erupting. Israel has been moving assets from uh, the Gaza Strip up close to the border in uh, preparation for a potential war against Hezbollah. They've been waiting for this to happen at some point. The attacks came as high-level talks resumed in Egypt aimed at a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas in Gaza that would also ease tensions in the region. Arthur. All right, thank you very much, Stephanie.